Do you want to solve very hard Sudoku puzzles? I will show you a secret shortcut that will make puzzles like this easy. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. All right, let's start with the nine since you see so many nines in this puzzle. With these two nines in rows one and two in this nine, you can solve for nine right there. Greetings, friend. This is the last of my Sudoku Cult Dark Arts featured puzzle packs, and it contains a Sudoku shortcut that will help you bypass very hard strategies. Thank you, Philip Newman, for this puzzle, and let's see how far we can get before getting stuck and needing that strategy. Let's look at the ones. With these two ones in columns two and three, there's only two places for a one in block one. So that's called Snyder Notation, anytime in a 3x3 three three block, you have two possibilities for a candidate. You want to mark it in case we solve one of these cells, we can solve another right away. It gives you a great idea of where the restrictions are in this puzzle. And with these two ones in rows 8 and 9, you can put Snyder ones in block 9. Looking at the twos, you might notice that with this two in block 7, there's only two places for a two in block four and then these two act as a pointing pair since the twos are restricted to column three and block four they can't be anywhere else outside of the block in that column you put twos here no place to put a two in block four and so the twos can't be here and they can't be here the twos are limited to these two spots in block one and so what you see here is the snyder notation is on top of each other with the ones and twos. Whenever you see that situation, you find yourself a hidden pair. The one and two are the only two candidates that can be in those two cells because that's the only two cells where they fit. And so you can eliminate all other candidates from those two cells. And I cover pointing pairs and hidden pairs in my Sudoku solving guide. You can download it absolutely for free from the pinned comment below. And now I'll we'll continue on here with the twos. You might notice that with these twos, you have twos in block eight. And then with this two, you see the twos have to be in one of these places. You actually have what's called a uh, claiming triple of twos in block three. I'm not going to mark that. I just need to know that you can't put a two here anymore because a two's got to be somewhere in column nine and restricted up there in block three. Move on to the threes. We're just kind of going down the numbers here. With these two threes, you have Snyder threes in block four. Okay, nothing else with the threes. Check out the fours. We've got some uh, solving we can do here. You might notice with the four in row eight in column nine, fours are also a pointing pair and a hidden pair with the ones in block nine. And so this pointing pair of fours with this four and the four in column one, we can solve for a four in block seven. And then with these two fours, you want two places for a four in block one. And then we can see with these two fours in rows four and five, and column five, you have Snyder fours in block five. Okay, move on to the fives. With this five and the five in column one, you actually solve for five in block seven. And what you see is now we've created what's called a heavy house so a heavy house is a row column or block that has at least five or more candidates in it. whenever you have that situation it is worth seeing if you can solve for some naked singles and so this one three five six nine we just need a two three seven and eight since the twos are restricted in block one to right there you got a seven and this eight sees it this actually has to be your four all right I might have said three. You got a two, four, seven, eight. So that's going to be your four. And then the seven and the two right there means that has to be the eight. With this seven, you got a seven right there and a two right there, which is going to give us a nice three, eight naked pair in block four. And since you have the one and two right there, and we just solved for a nine, the only digit left in block one is a five, which we can solve right there, and then a six down column two right there and this is going to give us a nice seven eight nine naked triple and this naked triple is very important and i will show you why in a little bit it's related to our shortcut so we did a lot of solving there with that heavy house and so now that we put the five here what else can we do with the fives you'll notice that 
fives are restricted to two spots in block three, and then two spots in block five. Okay, that's it with the fives. Moving on to the sixes. With these two sixes and this six, you can solve for six right here, displacing that Snyder five. So you can solve the five right away. And then with this five and this five, you actually put Snyder fives in block two. But we're not done with the sixes. With these two sixes, there's only one place for six in block nine. And with these two sixes, we have Snyder sixes in block eight. And then with these two sixes and this six, Snyder sixes in block five. All right, making a lot of marks, making a lot of progress, but we're going to get stuck. and We're going to need something special to move forward. Let's move on, though, with the sevens. With these two sevens and this seven, you can solve for seven in block six. And then the sevens in rows one and two, you have Snyder sevens in block two. And then with this seven, you can mark the Snyder sevens there as part of that naked triple in block seven. All right, the eights. You might see because of this eight, eight can't be in any of these three spots. So you got a claiming pair of eights here in block nine. And that's all we can do with the eights. You go to the nines, we got some solving we can do here. You might notice with this nine in row four and this nine in column seven, you got a pointing pair of nines in block six. And so the nine and the pointing pair means the nines are restricted to these two cells forming a nice hidden pair in block nine, meaning the only place left for three is right there. Okay, so we have that eight, nine right there. You got a one, two, three right here. This can't be a three. And then you end up, the only digit left is a four. And so what I recommend technique wise, since we did our Snyder marking, you know, sequentially from one through nine, go back through and see if there's anything else we may have missed. Well, with this four, we can now solve for the one and the four right here in block nine. And then it leaves just a three and a two missing in column seven. We got two right here. So there's two, there's a three. Again, we are about to get stuck though. And by solving this three though, you can put the eight here and a three there. So you're making a lot of progress, keep it up. This will give us a nice one, eight, nine naked triple here in block six. This can't be a nine. This can't be a one, and this cannot be an eight. And then we've got to the point where we made all the markings that we can make in this puzzle using Snyder marks and our naked hidden pairs and our naked triples. And so before we move on, I show you that awesome secret strategy, secret shortcut that you're gonna love. I wanna hear from you. What did you do at this point in the puzzle? Help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. Share some feedback, because there's some advanced strategies you can try. I mean, there's a W wing. If you look at these cells, uh, there is a Sudococke. There's also some maybe XY chains, more advanced stuff. But I wanna show you a nice, cool Sudoku shortcut. This is the intended solve path that put this puzzle in this Sudococke Dark Arts pack. So what you have to notice right here is what's in rows eight and nine. So with this nine, you can eliminate the nines from right there. And then this can't be a six. And you'll notice that you have a neat situation going on here. You want to look at these six cells right here. Okay, and I'll highlight that in purple. What you need to see here is that we have two naked triples. We got naked triple 79 in row eight. We would have a naked triple in row nine, except for this six. Okay, and so what you need to notice is they also are in two rows, three columns, and three blocks. So it's a two by three, and Everything in the Sudoku Dark Pack has a unique solution. That's very important. This puzzle does have a unique solution. It's a given as part of solving. So you got to ask yourself this question. What if this wasn't a six? What if it was just a seven, eight, nine naked triple on row eight and row nine? What you would see if you try to solve this puzzle, say you put a nine right there. There's two choices, an eight or a nine. Put a nine there, that's an eight. That's an eight, that's a seven. That's a seven, and that's a nine. Okay. But if you go back and you put the other option right here, that's an eight, that's a nine. 
That's an 8, that's a 7, that's a 7, that's a 9. Okay, so there's a problem here. You could fit in those digits 7, 8, 9 in two different ways in those six cells. Since the puzzle has a unique solution, we know that cannot be possible. We have to avoid that deadly pattern. And since this is a 2 by 3, three of the digits would form a naked triple, the 7, 8, 9, and the puzzle's unique solution, and one of these cells contains extra digit, this is called extended unique rectangle type 1. In order to avoid the deadly pattern, you need to put a 6 right there. That's the only way we can avoid multiple solutions. And we know, since it has a unique solution, this has to be the correct solution to that cell. Okay, and let's see how far that takes us. If you don't do this, you have a much harder way to solve this puzzle. But let's see how far we can go with this 6. In fact, the way Phil did this, you can actually go up here and look at these cells and you'll find another extended unique rectangle type 1. This one's just not as powerful as the one I just showed you. Because with this 6, now you can solve for 6 here in row 6 and you just need a 1 and a 9. Well, with this 9, you got a 1 right there and a 9 right there. Okay, which means that's going to be an 8 and that's going to be a 1. All right. And let's continue on with these two ones. You can solve for a 1 right here, displacing that Snyder 5, displacing that Snyder 7. And with this 1, that now has to be a 2. And you got a 1, 3 up here in block 3. Okay, let's look across row 5 now. You have 6 digits. I'm going to show you my neat naked triple trick. You have a 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. We need a 3, 5, and a 9. When you have two to three digits, in this case a five and nine looking at one cell, and one of those digits repeats, you can solve all three cells. Because this has to be your three, the only place the five goes right there, and this is going to be your nine. Awesome. And now after doing that, you can see with these two nines, you can actually solve for a nine right there. And with this seven, you can solve for the eight right there, which means this is going to be a nine and eight. Nice, and this is going to be a 7. So this 7 and 8 means this has to be your 9, and that's going to be your 8 right there. We displaced that Snyder 2 earlier, so we can solve that for a 2, and this has to be your 7. So far, we're looking great. I see a full house in column 5. The only digit missing is a 2, so I'll solve that quickly, knowing now we just need a 4 because we have Snyder 4s and an 8. So I'm going to pull that 8 up and displace that Snyder 4. And now with these two 4s, only place for 4 in block 2 is right there. And so what we have left is a 2 and a 3. I see a 3 right here, so this has got to be your 2. I mean, that's a 1, that's a 2. This is going to be a 3, means that this cell is going to be a 3 in the corner. Bum, bum, bum. And our last digit is a 1. Now challenge yourself to spot the extended unique rectangles in this next tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.